have all of my books. I mean, my book sleeves done except books. I have four of them here. Four done. Now I'm working on any. And then I'm going to start on those stockings finally. Which I'm happy about. Look at my little cute little ornaments over there. I gotta take pictures and list them. And that is what I'm up to. I was also, um, when I was finished with my book sleeves, I cleaned my area. Yes. I dusted and all that. Swept, moved things, and swept under the, underneath everything. Because um, working with these, you make a big old mess. So I just wanted to make sure that I clean my area. night all day I didn't get no orders at all and then right before I went to bed I got three five six orders um one is three um stockings one was two ornaments that I had listed last year and they never sold as well as the stockings and then one puzzle one sublimated puzzle I had one ornament done so I'm gonna be adding the name to it for this one now I'm making the second one that I need I already added the polycritic is it called polycritic whatever it's called and I'm gonna add the black paint to it and I have a new cup here so it can drain the axis I never know if I'm using that word correctly. Excess, axis, I don't know. But yeah. <laughs> so it could drip out whatever um So I was really excited about that. I'm like, oh well. Wow. Um I had added a sale on my <clears throat> on my Etsy. Um I watch a couple of um youtubers that have been doing Etsy for many 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 years who have many many sales under their belt and they suggested that you add a sale for um, the holiday and I did that I it ends I believe at the end of the month my sale so I've been getting orders consistently every day at least one or two orders which is great I wasn't getting any orders for months at a time so um, I've been listening to this one particular person she is amazing uh, and she's been doing Etsy for many many years so I trust her word and so do a lot of people so 
So I'm gonna get these these done and then I got more black in here. And then in the middle of making I don't know the last clip or maybe the the last video I don't even know if I I'm all over the place right now but I edited three three vlogs or two vlogs. I have another one to edit. And I was making a blanket that was ordered and my machine, my P800, my brother machine, it just wasn't working. It kept jamming. The thread kept getting stuck underneath. And my husband, bless his heart, fixed it for me. I did a stitch out yesterday before we left because we had to step out and it worked perfectly but now I have to do the beanie that I got an order for um, this weekend this past weekend I, mean, I should say today is Monday <laughs> and um, I hope I can get that finished and then also the blanket that I was in the middle of making I hope that I can get it back to the position that it left off and that I can you know hoop it back correctly like in the proper spot because I don't want to buy another blanket it cost me $25 for that blanket even though they would I know it's my sister who ordered it so as a it's for work for um, Secret Santa she ordered that and a robe the rope um, I should do the robe for, the robe first to make sure that it stitches out. Maybe I'll do the beanie first because I have more beanies just in case. So I'm going to do the beanie, make sure that it stitches out correctly, and then I'll move on to the next things that I have to make. So here I am. I'm filling this up. I don't want to add too much paint because then it will just be a little mess. There we go. And I just let it drip out there. It's completely black, making sure that I've touched every part of the inside of this so I just let it sit there and drip and in the end it will look like this one and I just have to add the names to it this I have to discard off the paint I still have a little bit in here so I'm just gonna turn them upside down so when I need them again they're ready make sure they close and as you can see look it's dripping I don't know if you can see that but it's dripping the black paint and I'm just gonna whoop almost fell out. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna let it stand there until it finishes dripping out and then I'll finish that up. I don't have to send that out today so it's a good thing. But then I'm also working on the book sleeves that need to go out this week. I have five of them that I have to do. So I'll be working on that now i just finished putting the closures on them on this part now i gotta do the closure on this side of the sleeve so i'm gonna be doing that now
all right so i got all the sleeves done they're ready to go out these are the two ornaments i forgot to show them after i was done but there's two ornaments in there and then this is for the other orders i have i'm waiting on my stockings to get here they're supposed to arrive today god willing because they have to go out tomorrow so i'm waiting on those and then now i'm gonna work on this beanie and what else? oh and i need and i need to do a puzzle so i'm gonna do that now i finish the beanie that's complete everything is ready to be shipped this is the puzzle i don't want to show it because that's somebody's personal picture but the puzzle goes in there and then some ornaments and i'm still waiting on my stockings It is, what time is it? 5.18 and I just got the stockings. Amazon guy had me held up today. I need to send these out tomorrow. So this is what I'm gonna be working on now. First I have to embroider the names on them and then I have to add the the HTV, not the HTV. <laughs> the, what do you call it? The design they want on it. So the vinyl design that goes here. So I'm going to do the embroidery first and then I'll do that. Personalization on it, and now I need to do one more. So, let me just show you how I hope the stock is. All right, so here's my stocking. Okay, I don't know if you can see that. It's a regular stocking, my hoop, my 4x4, that my tear away. My stairway, I mean my stairway. Oh my goodness, I can't speak. Let me make sure I have it on the right side. Up. Mm -hmm. 
my middle is going to be. Let's see. Three and a half part mark. Because this is seven inches across. So this is my middle right here. I'm going to open this up like this. So now it's open. I'm going to spray my hoop with my basting adhesive. With my tape, I'm going to find the middle. My middle is the little notch right here. That's how I know where my middle is. The little notch that's right there. And I'm going to have to put my stocking right up against it. And I'm just going to eyeball it. Right there. That's my middle. Then stick it to the adhesive that should be good enough like so remove the little tape I have a little pin I'm just going to pin it right here so it doesn't move and then we'll just have to push it out of the way while it embroids, embroiders right here in this area. Now I have it hooped. My design is on. I am going to make sure that it's placed where I want it. And that looks about right. that they are done now I'll just have to add the design here to this spot I'm gonna turn on my heat press well I'm gonna weed out my design because I just had it cut my Cricut cut it now I'm gonna weed it out and just get it on there <gasps>
so the stockings are done just gotta um package them up package these well they're halfway there just have to put them in the what do you, the poly mailer gotta tape that box up and print all my shipping labels that's it i still haven't have a chance had a chance to work on my stockings <laughs> they're still sitting here and then i also cut um fabric this fabric here i'm gonna make a whole bunch of book sleeves i'm gonna personalize them and those are gonna be the move this ipad out of the way these are gonna be the teacher gifts this year so i'm just gonna be giving them book sleeves with their name on it i think that's a cool gift um every year i love to give teachers gifts so that's what i'm giving out this year so anyway guys that is it for this video um the next clip you will see is just me finishing up these packages and i'll be taking them to the post office thanks so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this vlog if you did please give it a thumbs up and subscribe all right so now we're gonna package everything up and i just want to show you guys that i use these right here it's kind of dark even though i have that ring light on it still seems dark but these are from the dollar tree these are shipping labels it comes with 18 for a dollar because i don't have one of those little printers those fancy printers but i have my shipping labels here i'm gonna put it in my printer the correct way i don't know what kind of printer you have so i wouldn't be able to tell you mine go um right side down in the feeder i have my little weight here and then i also use um pirate ship to ship orders because i do um free shipping so if i on the um on the items that i do um charge shipping i use the etsy um shipping um platform but since this is all free shipping everything here it's free shipping i'm gonna use pirate ship and it's easy to use it it's pretty um simple so i'm gonna go ahead and put these in my in my feeding thing in the printer and get this started so the only thing with pirate ship that i don't like is that you have to do each one individually i mean i guess that's makes sense because you know they all weigh different um the weights are different on them so i'm just gonna go by one by one and pick my shipping preferences open it up here see if i have to sh change it so the first one i'm gonna do is a book sleeve and i have my information in this so i can make sure that i'm doing the correct one and i'll check my computer make sure that i have the right one yep this is the one and then i'm gonna close it up i hate these little things they stick to you Put it inside the bag. And these bags I get from from Amazon. Close it up. And then I weigh it. And this is gonna be in ounces. It says 4.5 ounces. So that's what I'm going to put here, 4.5 ounces, and then I'll get rates. First class package, choose my, my payment, and then buy the label, and then I print it.
Okay, so I have my shipping label. Just take off the backing. And I add it to the back of my package here. And then what I like to do is add some tape on it in case it rains. And I don't want the shipping label to get ruined because I want it to get to the customer. And I use the Easy Smart um, Heavy Duty. I love this. This is so smooth. And I just buy um, the refills. So from Walmart. They're not so expensive. And I love it because it's just so smoothly. And that's it. Package one down. And I'm just going to fast forward through this and just keep going. This one is going to Hawaii. First time selling to Hawaii. Thank you for your purchase. Pretty awesome. She ordered two of the book sleeves. So two book sleeves.
all right so i got all of my packages ready um they're ready to be shipped i have eight orders here that I need to go out and with this one i had to put it in a bigger box i didn't realize sorry i had the camera wrong but i didn't realize i couldn't use a five by five by five box so i had to put it in the five by five by five box into this bigger box which is a 10 by 8 by 6 and all I did was fill it up with some um, of that bubble stuff that I save when I get some um, packages I just save it in case I need it and it came in handy today so that was the issue with that one that's the ornaments that's in there so now I'm gonna get ready to go I'm gonna shower and walk to the post office to take these packages and when I come back I'll continue I uh, started sewing my my stockings so when I come back I'm gonna continue to do that <laughs> 